All right, guys, so I'm going to start making my meatloaf. Um, I have some peppers that I freeze. Well, I'm going to cut these up a little bit more than what they were. And I... Let me just add that. I have some peppers that I cut and stick in the freezer. I just stick them in a little baggie and I just put them in the freezer any which way. They're fresh until they're frozen, but they're still good. I add this to my meat. I like just cutting them into little chunks. Let's see? Just little chunks. Of course, I already washed my hands before. I started recording this after I did my intro for my day with me type video vlog type follow me around my house video I don't know what I'm gonna title it yet but I did wash my hands and now I'm just chopping this up into little pieces I have water on the stove which is going for my mashed potatoes and that's really simple just potatoes boiled and then just mash them up when they're done and put a little bit of salt pepper butter um, if you want you can add you can add um, cheese to it or you could do like sour cream and chive or you can do like an Italian blend all sorts of stuff you can put bacon in your mashed potato all sorts of craziness so yeah they keep falling back on the cutting board too. so i'm just going to use all of this i have a little over a pound of meat playpen which is in the living room my husband's taking a shower and getting dressed into regular clothes out of his uniform I don't know why I don't just chop this up into smaller pieces before I freeze it I'm weird but oh well pepper and then we're gonna put some onion now so I have an onion hope you can see it I have an onion I'm gonna cut off the front of it cut off. throw all this out some lines going down. I hope you can see me. Here a little bit. Just cutting some lines going down and then I'm going to turn it and do the same on the opposite side. So we have some little onion cubes when we cut it. It'll be nice and diced. That's what I'm doing here. Just half an onion is good. Don't like a lot of onion in it. Now this piece is still not chopped all the way. So I'm just going to help it a little bit and give it a good little chop. Same with this. Okay, so I have my onion. potatoes okay so I have that hopefully you guys can see it um, let me 
fix you just a tad bit. There we go. So, got the ground beef and everything. I got a spoon. I like mixing with a spoon before I use my hands, just because it helps. It's a little easier. So, I have what we call Los Puerto Rican sofrito. This is just basically peppers with cilantro and some onion and garlic. I add that in there. And all it is is to just blend it together. We stick this in everything. We stick it on our pork. We stick it in our rice. We stick it in everything. And then I'm going to add one egg for now and see how I like it. And I basically do the same thing except for the peppers, onions, and this right here. Some cheese in it as well. Besides this. But I do everything else the same for my meatballs. Which is the ground beef, the egg, the, the breadcrumbs. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. It's just breadcrumbs. Doesn't matter what kind you buy. You can buy the cheap one. And then just add as you see fit. And then of course, main ingredient. Yeah? Are you gonna laugh at me for talking through me cooking? Yeah, you're gonna laugh at me? Yes, you are. You're gonna laugh at me. You're gonna make fun of me. I know you are. Liar. Such a liar. Just mix and mix and mix and mix. So yeah, I can tell now I'm going to need that second egg. And I'm going to need more breadcrumbs, but right now it's the meat's not wet enough for me to add more breadcrumbs because everything's not sticking to it. So this is where I mix. Hispanic and white food, Puerto Rican and white. I get to put my other bowl and sofrito in. See, now it's nice, it's mixing nice and it's wet. So now I can add more breadcrumbs. Oh, yeah. So this, I'm going to add more breadcrumbs. It's nice and wet. So it's gonna be everything's starting to stick now to the meat, as you can tell. So I get to add more breadcrumbs and hopefully that works. Hopefully you can still see me. I don't know. There you go. Okay. And then once this gets to where it's almost a ball and it's nice and combined together. Like right now it's starting to clump up. That's when I like to use my hands. But before that, I'm going to go get the pan. So I'm lucky enough my mom loves me and I have a ton of these little aluminum foils because she bought a bunch of them and gave me some. So right now I'm gonna take off my ring. I'm going to use my hands and then after this I'm going to mix it with my hands like you would bread dough. And then I am going to wash my hands. I'm just wetting them a little bit but... Just everything get mixed in and incorporated. 
And then this hand is here so I can grab the breadcrumb a little more. This is where I will put it in. See now it's forming into a ball. So it will stay there if I stick it there. But that's what I want. Because that means I have enough egg to glue it together and enough bread to make it sturdy to where it'll be nice and soft when I go to cut it open. So now I'm gonna take this roll and hold it all in one hand. I've got the roll in my hand. I'm going to put it in the liner. A little foil and try to get as much off of my fingers as possible and just shove it in the corners. <laughs> my friend makes amazing dumplings. She's Tibetan and I really want some of her dumplings so bad. Like, so <laughs> cleaning my hands and I'm going to clean off my workspace a little bit. I got breadcrumbs everywhere and some pieces of meat everywhere. Don't worry, I'll clean it off with cloths. Right. So here, take a little bit of ketchup, just a little bit because I'll add more later. Yay. In the oven. On to the potatoes. That goes in the sink. Move all that over. Potatoes. I hope you can see me. It would make no sense if you can't see me. Yeah. Hi, Bella. Yeah, you know I'm feeling potatoes. You know I'm feeling potatoes. You're like, yay, potatoes. I told my husband to record me, but he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. There you go, Bella. Get the piece. It fell on the floor. Eat it. So since I don't have green beans, like fresh 
fresh green beans. I'm gonna take my small sauce I'll show you in a minute. And I'm gonna take some garlic. So I have garlic in my pan, I have potatoes there. I'm gonna turn the zone to high. I'm going to take a chunk of butter and put it in the garlic. This is how I make garlic butter. You can also add some pieces of onion if you felt like it. Okay, I'm gonna let that melt down. I have maybe leaf in there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And then to this, all I do is I add some cut green beans. No water, just the green beans. Toast them up a little bit. I love using fresh green beans though. It tastes so much better, but I don't have them. So yeah, mashed potato. Just gonna mash them, put some butter and salt. And see you guys in a minute. Alright, so potatoes are done. I've just drained them out. They're has like, no water in it. It's all it's just drained. And in here, I have a mixture of um, milk, butter, and a little bit of mayonnaise. Don't tell my husband. But I'm gonna add just a tiniest bit of salt to it. Yeah, that should be enough. Just a little bit. And then in my spices, I'm gonna find some. Oh, back here. Okay, I found it. Some black pepper. I'm gonna add that to here. Okay. I let it sit and warm up a little bit so that the butter would melt. I'm gonna add that. There's still some butter and stuff on the bottom. I'll scrape that out and use it. Green beans are done. The main component is the garlic butter. Mashed potatoes are done. And I already spiced up. Okay. Sliced up. And the meat are loaf. Now to start plating. Mm -hmm. I don't like to clean. It's good. Garlic of my spaghetti dish. Mind me, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Potatoes with salt pepper. 
I actually put a little bit of cheese, not a lot, just a little bit. And I kept adding milk to my cup, so it has a little bit in there. Kept adding little by little just to get it to be creamy enough. But yeah, that's what my meatloaf looks like. Mm -hmm. Now just to add a little bit more ketchup. Just add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And ta-da! It's done. Hubby's gonna be happy. Let's go give him his plate. He gets her first, of course. Do 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 do. Do 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 Baby sleep and do 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 Does it look good? Does it smell good? Does it taste good? You don't know? Um, uh, it better taste amazing. Oh, you get your butt kicked. Da da! Alright, so now we're gonna eat. So, yeah.